Hello there. Welcome to my closet. Come on in. Oh, shit. closet transformation. I have been living here for about six months now and have made no progress with my closet. Like I still have boxes in here from when I first moved. It's a disaster and I finally feel like I have everything that I need to like transform this into what I actually want it to look like. I don't really have much else to say about this room. I love it. I love my closet. I just need to organize. Do you guys like this top? I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like the lace up here kind of ruins it. Let's get started. First, I want to start off with these cabinets because these are a really big part of my closet. They take up a lot of room. I have a lot of shit in here. I have clothes in here. I have camera equipment. I have hair and makeup stuff. So much stuff that doesn't even really belong in here and everything is just overflowing. I'm gonna start off with these. God, I don't even really know where to start. So I'm thinking a lot of this stuff is hair products and I have like a whole thing of hair products in my bathroom. So I think I'm going to empty this and put a lot of this in my bathroom. cleaned out all my little cabinets. The thing is with these is that I don't really care that they like look pretty on the inside. Like I obviously want them to be nice and organized, but like, you know, like it doesn't look super pretty, but I don't care because no one sees this besides me. My next order of business is this side of my wall here. This is a mirror that I thought I was going to use in my apartment and it just like didn't really fit anywhere. So I am probably just I don't know, I'm gonna sell it or something. This is a random PR box, my Hello Kitty sewing machine. This is a box full of just really random stuff. I also need to go through that. It has clothes that I wanna sell and donate. Okay, you're actually in the way. I need to move you so I can get this out. So hold on. I'm gonna start going through these drawers now. These are a mess, so unorganized. Like they're genuinely just extremely messy and unorganized. So I need to fold them or do something because it's just not working right now. This is my pajama drawer. So I just have a bunch of like random t-shirts, little tank tops, stuff that I just lounge around the house in or wear to bed. I don't need it to be super organized. I just want all of this stuff that's in here to actually be stuff that I wear. This drawer is a combination of stuff that didn't fit in these two drawers. So this is my workout drawer that apparently has pajamas in it too. I've been looking for these. I have a love-hate relationship with bright colored leggings like this because they're really cute. But for some reason, when I go to the gym, the first thing that sweats is my ass. That's probably TMI, sorry. But then it just looks like I pissed my pants. Like I just don't know what else to do. It literally just looks like I peed my pants five minutes into working out. Not that I care. Like I really don't care that much. Like I'll wear them anyway. Some of my favorite places to get workout clothes, in case you were wondering, are Set Active. They are one of my absolute faves. Fabletics is really great. Aloe, I think is how you pronounce it, has really great stuff. This drawer is like socks, bras, and underwear. 
So that's all for my drawer clean out. These other four over here are already pretty organized since I don't get in them very much. I just have swimsuits, um, games. What else do I have? Extra stuff. Day two of my closet clean out. I tried to keep the illusion that it was all one day by wearing the same outfit, but I wanted to do different hair and makeup today, so. This whole process has made my apartment literally disgusting. Like, I just have clothes, random shit everywhere. Even my bathroom was like disgusting because I genuinely had so much random shit in here that belonged in so many other places, which made my whole apartment a mess. But now since I have my cabinets all clean out, now is the part where I get rid of a bunch of clothes. I realized a couple months ago that half of my closet is just hoodies and jackets. It made me realize that like I have too many probably and that I should probably get rid of some of them or put them in other places so I actually have room for like everyday wear clothes. Oh my god lol I just opened this drawer and it's literally so empty. I forgot I cleaned it. I think I'm gonna do. So I have this closet, which I have a love-hate relationship with because half the closet is taken up by this wall. I don't know if you can see, this takes up half of the closet. There's no shelves or anything in here. It's literally just a wall. So I'm gonna take everything out of here. It's literally just like birthday supplies. I'm gonna put coats in here because it's getting hot. There's no reason for them to be taking up this much space on like my rack. Fuck. <laughs> this is gonna be a little tricky. This closet is so fucking small. Can I even close that with those in there? Oh, I forgot this door doesn't close anyway. <laughs> you can't even see, you know the thing that like when you twist the door handle that like goes into the door to close it? This doesn't have that. This doorknob is literally just there for decoration because it doesn't close anything, so. I made a pile of stuff to try on before I do something else with it to make sure that it doesn't fit. Just to see if I wanna keep it or if I wanna get rid of it. I have a few dresses in here. One thing I hate, my biggest pet peeve with dresses probably is when they're too short because then you're just uncomfortable like literally all day. I feel like anytime I wear a short dress, my family is constantly like, hey yo, your ass is out. I'm going to try all this stuff on and get rid of all this shit on my floor. Do whatever I need to do with it because it's literally driving me nuts. First thing I'm trying on to see if I should do something else with it or keep it. They're cute. They fit my waist. They're a little long. Doesn't really bother me. I just don't necessarily know if they're my style. I don't know. I might have to think about this one. I think they're cute and they're really nice. Good quality fit well, but this pair of jeans I got a really long time ago um, thrift shopping. They're cute. I just don't, I don't know. I feel like everyone talks about like dressing for your body type. I don't know if that's even a real thing, but I just feel like no jeans look very flattering on me. Sorry, I'm looking at my monitor up here because I don't have a mirror in here. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to think about these ones too. This pair of Levi's. I don't know where I got them from, but they're just a little bit too big. So I am going to resell these probably. Are these my boyfriends? Is that where I got these? Where did I get these from? This pair of jeans I got from Zara. I really wanted a pair of jeans that was like baggy, but still fit my waist. I think I'm going to keep these. I'm glad I tried these on. I thrifted these low rise pants a while ago and I don't know about these ones either. I feel like low rise just isn't that flattering on me. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think of all of these because I genuinely am the most indecisive person in the world. I need 10 people's opinions before I do pretty much anything. That makes it sound like I like confidence. It's not that, I just, I don't know. I don't have to explain myself. These are also from Revice. They're a little big on my waist. They're also cute. I just don't really know how much they're my style. I don't know. Ripped jeans are just like not really my thing. This pair of jeans from and other stories, they're a little bit short. They don't quite hit my ankles. I don't know. I'm so picky about pants. Like literally, I don't know. I'm picky about everything, but this dress I got secondhand and it looked completely different in the photos. I thought the black was brown and I thought this kind of like ivory color was like a baby pink. So I will probably 
be doing something with this. I won't be keeping this because it's literally a catfish. Like, it looks so different in the photos. Okay. <laughs> can't breathe in this dress or my ass is gonna be out. I saw this dress on Pinterest, thought it was really cute. Someone said in the comments where it was from, but it actually, this is just like a dupe, but it looks literally so similar, but it's a dupe. It's way too short. I like don't even, I can't, I can't even turn around because my, you know. So I think this dress is super cute, super cute color, but it just is too short on me. This dress is made by a girl named Sam. Her brand on Instagram is called Cool as a Construct. Um, I'm glad I tried this on because I thought this was a lot shorter than it is. It is pretty short, but I think this would be really cute to wear like to the beach or something. It's super easy to slip on over a swimsuit. Has this really cute back opening. Okay, I'm glad I tried this on because she sent me a few different patterns of this and I thought they were all too short, but they're good. They're okay. I'm changing. Sorry guys, I got hot. Let's talk about shoes. If you've been following me for a while, you know, I used to be a huge sneakerhead. Me and my boyfriend were both really into sneakers and then our style is just like completely changed. So I have a lot of sneakers that I love and have so much love for, but I just don't wear and it just doesn't make sense for me to keep them if I'm not gonna wear them. So I'm just gonna go through every single pair of my shoes and say buy or keep. Damn, these bitches are dusty. These are cute, keep. One of my go-tos, keep, keep. Okay, these shoes break my heart because look at them. Like this is a perfect cowboy boot, like l perfect cowboy boot. The silhouette of it is perfect. The material is perfect. The little pattern on the front is perfect, but they're too small. The last time I wore these was not that long ago and I walked to the mall. I literally wanted to cry the whole entire time. So I think I'm gonna have to give these up. Maybe I can find them again on the website. They're from and other stories and buy them again. I don't know, but. It hurts my soul, but I have to give these away. They're too small. I got these off Depop. Pretty sure they were originally from Urban Outfitters. Got them for like 40 bucks. Keep. I love a good pair of Converse. Keep. These get me through the winter. Keep. I think it's time that I sell these. My first pair of sneakers that I am going to sell, I don't remember exactly what these are called. Um, I got them off Grailed for a pretty good deal. I'm gonna be selling all my sneakers on Instagram since Depop takes a pretty big chunk. So follow my Instagram if you want to see any of these shoes or sneakers. Sell. These are my Travis Scott's. I'm very, ew. I'm very conflicted with these because these go for a pretty penny and I'm wondering if I should keep them if they're gonna like go for even higher in the future. I like these a lot. I think I'm gonna keep these for now. These yellow Converse have my puppy on them so I'm going to keep these. I love these little Gucci sandals. Very feminine and very beautiful so keep. Love these also. I'm going to sell these. Super cute. Just don't wear them. Same with these, um, what are these? Like 97 maybe, golden rods? I think it's time for me to let these go. My Gorge Greens, these were my holy grail shoes for a really long time. And now that I have them, I don't wear them super often. I think it's because of the laces. I just need to change the laces out. I don't like the pink, so I'm gonna keep these. These golf floors are really summery, cute, Converse. I love Converse, so keeping. These cream Air Force Ones, I literally want to kick myself because when I was wearing these last time, I kicked the shopping cart wheel and it made like a huge thing on the shoe so I might be able to get these off to get that off but I'm still gonna sell them because I just don't wear them that much but they're really cute I think these are also really summery and cute so I'm gonna keep them another pair of Jordans these are 2013 Chicago's I'm gonna be selling these as well these random little green heels I got on Depop I think are really cute in the last several closet clean out videos I have made, I believe I have said that I'm going to keep these every single time. And I'm like, I promise I'm gonna wear them more. Cause I think they're cute, but I just don't wear them. Like I haven't worn them in a really long time. So I gotta get rid of them. These were too tall to fit back there, but these are some pink go-go -go boots I got off of eBay. I think they're really just funky and cute and unique. So I'm gonna keep them. Same with these beautiful boots from this brand called Aloha. They, the bottoms are really dirty. Don't look, but I'm keeping them. I bought these Hello Kitty Converse on Grail thinking that I was going to wear them like every single day, but I don't. Like they look really dirty, but they're not even dirty. They're just dusty. You can't tell with the bright white light, but I think I'm gonna sell these. 
Another Hello Kitty lover can have them and wear them more than I do. Vans, I only really have these to skateboard in, so I'm gonna keep them. I skateboard in a couple different shoes, but... These Nike Technos have been with me through hell and back. There's a big hole in them where like a big piece of like wire metal sticks out, so I can't fix that. I'm gonna do something with them. I'm not keeping them. These nude kind of dress up shoes, I thought I would keep for like events, but I have other shoes that I like more for stuff like that, so selling. Love these hoes, keeping. When I wear these, I want to set my feet on fire because they hurt so bad. Beauty's pain. A silly little pair of flip-flops. Everyone needs one. My go-to shoes, my black Converse. Quick advice for you, get a pair of slippers that has a hard bottom, I promise you. It will change your life. If you need to just like run into Target, go to the grocery store really quick, go get gas. Anytime I have friends over and we're going to do something really quick like that, they literally fight over who can wear these. Basic Air Force Ones, I painted the black swoosh on keeping. Another pair of slippers, keeping. Okay, this is my newest edition of shoes. Look how cute, uh, love them. I. Love, love, love platform shoes, so I'm keeping those, obviously, because they I literally just bought them. I got them secondhand, but the brand is Splash Fashion Footwear, if anyone was wondering. I just got rid of 11 pairs of shoes. Now that I've gone through every single section of my closet, my clothes, my cabinets, the only thing I have left to do is decorate the top of my dresser, which I am so excited for because I have some really cute stuff that I'm really excited to show you guys. <laughs> okay. I'm chocolate on my lips.